Hi, today I'm going to share with you my Kickstarter project. I have designed this board for the purpose to make it easy for all learners for electronics or even teachers, uh, all uh, hoppers or geeks, uh, all people that they are uh, in need for a power supply for their uh, experiments or projects. Uh, this is a low cost power supply. It has multiple outputs. It has positive outputs and negative outputs voltage It has fixed voltages and also adjustable voltages. This board is a very complete solution for all these layers of learners It can be gift for your kid uh, If they are interested in electronics, it's very safe. You don't need to deal with 220 uh, or 230 volt or 120 volt uh, it it uh, combines three to four power supplies at the same time and instead of buying one set or one power supply that has one output you can get this board and you can get multi output it has an extension here uh, that separate these outputs to this terminal blocks here or you can just use these pins here to insert it in a breadboard and it's very compatible with breadboard I will show you now how we can install it so here is the breadboard and it's easy to be fitting in the pins exactly without any pin because they are designed with uh, proper spacing okay and you can get it like this look at that okay so the voltages which is 5 volt it will be this rail with the ground this one is a uh, minus negative 12 volt and this one is positive 12 volt and adjustable it's exactly mirrored here okay so the pins this rail here vertical rail and that vertical rail is always negative voltage uh, negative 12 volt positive and adjustable and here's the rail of 3.3 volt for the adjustable output here you can adjust it using this uh, uh, this hole here which is uh, the tip of uh, a potentiometer you will be also given a screwdriver to adjust it easily it's not very painful at all you have here another knob here to adjust the 12 volt this one is a 12 volt you can also adjust it uh, if you want but uh, it's designed here to calibrate the 12 volt to be 12 volt exactly according to the uh, uh, load that you have looking at the input side here let's take this off okay we have different options of inputs here the first input is the USB the standard one which is 5 volt you can supply it from any standard USB charger or adapter and it can boost this 5 volt to different voltages which is 5 12 minus 12 3.3 .3 and adjustable you can also supply your uh, board from the USB-C which can uh, negotiate with the charger uh, to give the board up to 20 volt and that also will be converted to these different voltages what I mean by USB-C is something like this so this charger here can give us the standard USB uh, uh, voltage and also USB-C and you can uh, see these kind of chargers are now become more popular for supplying uh, uh, boards like this uh, you can also um, uh, get a battery and supply it from your better uh, from your battery as well you don't need to get another power supply to supply it or you can supply it from your power bank so it will be portable power supply okay so the output current that you can really get out from here is between 0.7 to 1.5 ampere as maximum it depends on the voltage so for the 5 volt and 3.3 .3 volt it can go for 1.2 to 1.5 ampere easily for the 12 volt and minus 12 volt between 0.7 to 0.9 ampere it depends on the input uh, power and input capability so if the charger is 45 watt it can give this 1.5 ampere if it's less it will give less and also for the adjustable it also can give this uh, amount of current which is up to 0.9 ampere this board has many protections like uh, uh, short circuit protection and over current protection uh, you will you will not damage any of these if you short any output from this because it has the 
the short circuit and over counter protection required to shut all the uh, output off and the output shut off just for the output um, that has uh, been shorted uh, the others will be available live without any problem and for the thermal uh, and heat dissipation it has been uh, designed to make very um, uh, equal and uniform distribution for the heat over the uh, maybe the space that we we have here and also there and when you draw high current here you will not expect any of these ICs on the top here to warm up at all maybe a little bit warm down but it is uh, it, it is kind of warm not hot and it's very robust solution so as a summary and before going to the kickstarter page i think this board is really niche board because when i was learning electronics and want to maybe make some operation amplifiers for example um, experiments i need to get two batteries or uh, two power supplies to make positive and negative voltage but this one can do that in uh, by one circuit if i need 5 volt and 12 volt at the same time so i need another uh, maybe circuit or another power supply it depends if i have regulator or no so this board is really making a life easy for any learner for electronics or doing job or even projects uh, you don't need to get the breadboard always you can get uh, uh, also just this one and just hook it up and you can get the outputs here so battery here or USB-C and that's it you getting all these um, voltages at the same time so what you get if you back me on the uh, on the uh, Kickstarter uh, campaign you will get this board and you will get also the extension and you will get uh, this charger and also a cable okay so now let's just have a little bit of test okay how we just run to throw the USB-C and then we go to the campaign. So now let's start powering up the circuit. This is a USB-C cable. I have connected to an adapter, USB-C adapter to get the best results because it's optimized for this. And now by powering it up and switch on the circuit, it now gives all the output voltages as required. Okay, we will now have a test on this using the multimeter and see the accuracy of each uh, of each output so we have here the 5 volt okay so yes we got the 5 volt the 3.3 volt yes we got it the minus 12 volt yes I this minus 12 volt and also the positive 12 volt and the adjustable output okay so here we got the 9 volt as adjusted output, but we can change it. So I will change it and see what will happen. So here we have the 9 volt, but I can change it easily. Okay, even by one hand, very easily to go as high as we want. Okay, up to about 24, 25 volt. Okay, so here we got 22. Okay, we have got 24, and this is, yeah, just my hand is, is, is moving. Okay, so 25, okay, and you can go down up to like 1 volt, okay. I will leave it now to a middle value, okay, but you can go to, this is okay, this is 1.2 volt, okay. So this is the lowest that you can go for. So this one is the adjustable output. And if you short out any out any any of these, so I will just make it in purpose. Okay, so I will make this on the uh, negative, okay, or the ground. Okay, and here's the for example the positive five volt. Okay. This is now five volt, okay. And if you I shorted one of them in case, so this is the ground to 5 volt. So the output now becomes zero, okay? And when you take it off, it returns to 5. So it has the protection, and that happens for all outputs as well. So I think um, based on 
the experience that I have in teaching electronics and using electronics and building projects, I believe this project is really a multi-function project that can be used for powering Internet of Things projects or uh, you can be used for battery charger as well, a uh, lead acid battery charger and also can be used for any STEM club uh, that uh, has like robotics, electronics because the um, kids or the learners they don't need to access 220 volt they can just make it powered by power bank or by a battery or even USB-C which is uh, well protected okay and you can get all these voltages without any pain and also you can also uh, uh, use it for university and college students where they need sometimes positive and negative voltages for their operation amplifiers and also driving uh, uh, driving uh, uh, different uh, different loads so let's now just I, I will show you how I drive maybe high current loads like motors or lamps so now let's see this test I have this motor which works from 0 to 24 volt I will just give it a 12 volt and minus a 12 volt and we know that direction is uh, will be reversed if I give it different polarity and also this is a high torque one so it consumes good current um, that can't be supplied for from uh, maybe the boats that are already in the market now so let's have uh, the 12 volt okay so we got it now running okay and see the direction is a clockwise let's go to the minus 12 volt and now it's reversed okay and you feel it's not really suffering it has the supply that it needs and this lamp consumes about more than one ampere if you supplied it by 12 volts so now I will give it a try for 12 volt for example okay yeah it's very very bright that means the supply is really doing the job and also if I go to the adjustable okay and now try to adjust it okay you see the brightness now become higher and higher that means it's doing the job outputting the voltage and also the uh, decent current to make the uh, the load happy at the same time I can run the motor so you can also go to the motor and you can hook it up to uh, another ground here because we have three different grounds and also we can power it up by negative volt for example or 5 volt okay so all runs at the same time okay so you can drive high loads low loads at the same time from different voltages so I hope you like this project and now let's go to the kickstart campaign where you can pre-order one of them and support me on kickstarter as a baker uh, to get your um, board as maybe as cheap as possible now because we are not uh, targeting any profit at this stage we are targeting to uh, distribute this border for many customers and also to get more exposure to this project so now let's go to the kickstarter and see how you can do the support so here is my kickstarter campaign for this project i think i will put the uh, link down in the description below the video so um, as the concept of this uh, campaign is or this website is if we have an idea we want to develop it or we want to also build customers and see if it has a market or no so this is the website that can really give you a sense of this okay so uh, we are now having a goal here of a 20,000 uh, pound and so far we have 34 bakers and I think I hope we got it we got more uh, we be we believe that we we should um, hit 500 order or we can call it pre-order uh, just to pass the 20,000 and after this we can really have a very good deal for low price production and meet the target so we have 42 days until this campaign ends and at that moment if we pass the 20,000 pound it will be successful and we are going to produce this for all uh, people that uh, pledge for this project uh, otherwise uh, it will the money will be returned for all bakers because the uh, policy for this website is um, uh, all or nothing as it's here okay all or nothing so if you pass this goal or nothing so 
my name is Waid Isa and I'm the creator for this project so here you find the features all the features about this project I will not go in details you can read them uh, and uh, as I mentioned before about its capability and output voltages and how uh, and where we, you can use it and for what it can be a gift it can be uh, for uh, learners or hobbyists or kids as well and what are the motivations as well during also the pandemic maybe most people staying at home and don't do uh, lots of maybe practical work who, who has maybe the, some in, uh, uh, interest in electronics but with this project with this board I think many things can be done at home without accessing maybe labs okay so we have two pieces here and by assembling these two pieces you will get it assembled already you can really get uh, this board and that board is easy to be uh, just uh, uh, put on the uh, on the breadboard here and you got all the output voltages here as I mentioned and you have another extension option as um, as compatible uh, output here okay so you can drive many uh, outputs at the same time we have this article on hackster.io uh, this website is um, highlighting our contribution to this community by this board and these are the practical results I'm showing on the top here I'm showing a video about how this can be used okay maybe part of it is already shown here and also this is the test for the board I'm, I'm showing the loading and showing the voltages and accuracy and the ranges of each output and also I have used different um, adapters and input suppliers for the test so you can get a sense of what is the um, input uh, or the adapter or how much uh, what I need uh, for this adapter to meet my output so the 5 volt can give us uh, maybe up to 1.5 ampere without dropping a lot okay if you care about 4.9 only so you can get 1.3 ampere without any problem if you are using 45 watt USB-C charger if you are using a standard charger I think you can get um, uh, up to 0.4 ampere for the 5 watt for 5 volt and maybe less for for the 12 and minus 12 and others as well so this is a very detailed uh, 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 test practical test about each input and also the values that you are expecting for each one even the 3.7 battery it can boost the voltage for all these things without any problem but the current will be a little bit limited okay but for the 12 volt, volt lead acid battery I think you will get more than what you expect even okay I have made a thermal assessment at the highest current which is uh, I think uh, 1.5 ampere here and um, as we see here there is no temperature more than 52 um, degree Celsius okay so I think uh, it is really uh, stable okay you will get this and that as as always okay and you will give this in order so if you have on the right here if you pledged for the mini board station set you will get just the board and the extension okay but if you selected this one the 45 pound here you will get also the charger with it okay and if you selected more and more you get you get more items or you get multiple items so this is for two sets and this is for another two sets but with a charger this is five sets without the charger and this five sets with a charger this is 10 and this is 10 okay so I, I, you can I will leave the link for you to go for through uh, through the, the website and what we are really uh, heading to there are some uh, stretching goals we have but I will not discuss this now because it's really maybe for the future after we go for the first one if we su be successful in this I think that would be great I hope you will be one of our bakers here and uh, help us to uh, to meet this goal and thank you very much